All right, let's go. Let's get this started. So, last time that we were here, the Avengers had a ridiculous month of September, especially in the sim, <laughs> and uh, somehow tied Texas after being down five games in the standings with six to play. We swept them, and then they lost two out of three of the White Sox, and we swept the Angels, so... Based on the tiebreaker, we beat them 9 out of 12 head-to-head, -head, including sweeping all six games at Texas. We are, surprisingly, <laughs> the AL West division champs. Not what I was expecting. Um, you can see here, some of the first rounds, we knew we were playing Minnesota. Minnesota, the uh, worst qualifying team for the playoffs, knocked off number three Baltimore, division-winning Baltimore. Yankees. Also wild card, but they had 95 wins or something. They knocked off Texas. So now the Yankees and the Royals play, and we take on the Twins. While in the National League, the Phillies swept the Cardinals, and they're going to take on the Dodgers. And the Braves swept the Giants, and they're going to take on Milwaukee. And as you can see over there, the Dodgers won game one, Milwaukee won game one. So there we go. This is where we stand. And uh, we're going to get going today. This is the best three out of five. So we will play however many games it takes to uh, finish off this round. Um, I will tell you that if we get swept, I don't expect us to, but if we get swept, um, I'm going to throw on the thanks for watching and then uh, let that play for a little bit. And then I'm going to throw on stream starting and uh, we're going to come right back into the off season. So we're going to be here for a few today. If we win the series or it goes five, four or five and we lose, then we'll do the off season as its own stream. Um, maybe Thursday or Friday night or something, but um, I don't expect to do a lot of trading on that one. Maybe, maybe with our minor leaguers, not with our major leaguers. So anyway, so we're just going to uh, get in here and play and, uh, See how it goes. We've got Corbin Burns against David Festa. Luis Garcia, I pushed him up to number two and put Freed down at three. He's playing Pablo Lopez. Max Freed gets Bailey Ober at Minnesota. This would be Joey Estes against who? Joe Ryan. And I assume they would come back with Festa. They've got means on the DL. And Panic and Garcia and Cole Irvin are all in a bullpen. They don't have really good bullpen. They do have Griffin Jacks. And they have uh, Duran Duran. We remember him from the Cardinals. Um, so Cole Sands isn't bad. But they've got a lot of starting pitchers in the bullpen. Which means they're going to go for a while when they come in the game. So it's kind of a pain in the ass. But yeah, well, whatever. Anyway, so let's get in here and get going. Can I, can I do this? I'll have to do it this way. Corbin was 14 and 11 with a 3.49 ERA, 32 home runs allowed. Garcia 16 and 5 with a 3.14. Max was 11 and 9 with a 4.21. His problem is he gave up 32 homers. Uh, Mitch Spence 13 and 10 with a 4 ERA. He's going to be pitching in the bullpen. Joey Estes will be our fourth starter. He was 12 and 7. The 337 pitched in about two thirds of the games. He came up when um, JP Sears got hurt, and then Sears came back. Estes has done well, so we traded Sears away. Um, I think it was to either get Rasmussen or uh, Alexis Diaz. Well, it was Rasmussen. So, anyway. No big surprises on offense. Uh, then Soderstrom came up and just tore up. So loving that. So let's get in here and get playing. Home game. This will be full game. Yep. Then wear gray. We're gonna wear ours. I believe this is a night game. I didn't pay attention to the time, but I believe it's a night game. Oh, there's our custom stadium that I built. Overcast. Okay. Everybody's well rested. Let's go. 
We uh, moved Soderstrom up in the lineup. If he's going to be uh, hitting that well, I want to get him closer to the top. And if uh, Lawrence Butler struggles at all and then two slot, we'll uh, put Soderstrom up and move Butler down. There we go. 53,000 people here for this game. There's Mr. Burns. Signed him on a three year deal. Let's get it going. And he's going to beat that out because Mayo's so deep, I have no chance. All right, that's how we're going to start the game. Yeah, find my spot. I have not pitched today. I played a little home run derby to get some swings down, but I haven't pitched yet, so my timing is off. I'm going to do a four-pitch walk. Not a good start. There we go. <coughs> nice pop up. Nobody advances. You feel fly. There we go. <coughs> Just dry throat. You have to be careful with Jeffers. Twins do have some pop in their lineup, so you got to be a little careful. Let's see if he wants to chase this curveball now. There we go. Two outs and nobody moved up. Good, good, good. that off a of shoe tops foul I'll take that struck him out looking all right give up a bunt single four pitch walk and then the ball never leaves the infield all right 97 everything else is mid 80s or less Butler. Let's go. I put you on the thumbnail. Yeah. Got the call on the check swing. There, there we go. Inside. Alright. That's going to be a gapper. That's at least two. Got to it fast. All right, good start, good start. Got to love that. Check my fantasy football league real quick and see if I got the few planes that are coming. Bears, and our bears. Hold on a sec. Did somebody just cut Kareem Hunt? Why would you cut Kareem Hunt? I guess because Pacheco is coming back. Still, there's no guarantee Pacheco... It's going to be worth a shit when he comes back. Oh, got under it. Run. 
Rooker finished the year with 200 hits to lead the majors. He had 40 homers, over 100 ribs, hit over 300, had a great season. Didn't even finish in the top three in the MVP. Yeah. Ooh, threw that right by me. Was looking for something a little off speed there to start the count. Now we're in battle mode. No, no, thank you. No, I swing. Oh, just a second to drop. Get by the second baseman. Yes, it does. And that's going to bring home the first run of the game. Hey, we had some loop hit luck of our own for a change. All right, Tyler, you've been stupid hot since you came up, took the first base job by Storm. Attack that first pitch fastball. That's going to end the inning. Hey. Little flare. Looks like a line drive in the uh, box score. This guy's got a lot of power. Not chasing. All right. Got him. There we go. All right. If he wants to chase his curveball. There we go. That's three straight K's. I don't know what they traded to Cleveland to get Manzardo. All right, bunt single, a walk, and now six straight outs. All right, Kobe, Kobe Mayonnaise. Ooh, just had to wait a little bit longer. He's jumping at that fastball down the middle. Wind's blowing in, blowing in from left center field to center field, right from where that circle, the little portal thing that's up there, Ooh, pulled off. Get down on the count and got a chase. That's never good. All right, come on, Kelnick. <clears throat> oh, just missed. Just outside the back. One, two. Yeah, what's his count up to? Get over 20. So he's at 11 pitches per inning right now. He's still got two outs to go. Ball. There we go. There we go. Be patient. Kelnick hit 
22 in the regular season, if I'm not mistaken. His average could be better, but I like the power. Oh, nice location. Soft fastball and couldn't do anything with that. It was ball four, but it looked like a strike out of his hand. There we go, Shea. Another fisted into center field for a hit. I'm gonna move my water over here. PCA, let's go. And another flare. That's three flares. <laughs> we are not hitting the ball hard, but we're getting it done. So, hey. All right, Ahmed. You did surprisingly well in the second half of the season. So, there's a rocket, and that's going to score a run. And it's two to nothing, Avengers. Yes, oops. I have a fast catcher. Langleers is definitely fast for a catcher. All right, Butler. You hit the first hit of the game to see if you can get the first home run of the game. Yeah, he's not the MVP. I don't know what your channel. The next guy should be MVP. Just missed. Got it, and he hooked it. My gosh. Eight feet foul. He smoked that. Just a touch in front. Oh, that's a home run. And now he's late because we're trying to compensate. All right. Give them their extra step on the base paths. Might be the difference in scoring a run. And woo! Thought he rung me up. Wow. Take an extra step, and we're going to be off with the pitch. And that's going to go oh, right to him. I thought it was going to be over his head and score two. All right, well, Rosario. It's a two-nothing. That's not going to get anywhere. Bullpen's going to catch that. Ooh, nice pitch. Come on, Kelnick, you got time. Get there, get there, get there, get there. All right. That's seven in a row. Dead off the ground. Nope, no speed to get to that one. Got him. Burns is dealing. Ooh, just missed. Just missed. Let's try a little bit further out there. Man, that was a little bit too much over the middle of the plate. Let's throw this cutter up and in. And strike him out. I was setting up a change up low and away, but if he wants to miss it, that's good by me. It's nine straight after the uh, bunt single and the walk. This is the guy we got to make sure produces in the uh, playoffs. We're not going to win if he's not producing. Uh, Stay back. One one. Yeah, see, he had 41 home runs this year. And it's not going to get through. It's too slow to beat it out. All right, Willie. Got that little flare over second base to drive in the first run. See if we can hit something hard this time. Oh. 
painted. All right. Got to protect everywhere now. thought that was outside. Yep, I saw him. Halfway there, I recognized change up, tried to hold my swing, and nope. Didn't didn't work. All right, Ty. Where's he at pitch wise? He up over 40 now. Get shit off the screen. Yeah, he's at 45. He's averaging 15 an inning. Made him reach. <clears throat> Laying on the ground, he throws him out. Luckily, it was a catcher, and he's a slow runner. What a play. Watch the replay. Lays out, gets it, and just stays on the ground and rolls over and throws him out. CPU is usually the one making those plays against us. location I wanted, but I'll take the strike. And he went down and stops the uh, consecutive out streak. 14 in a row. Not only did he not swing, I didn't get the call. There we go. Slider gets him. All right. Let's go. And small runs. Two's not going to be enough. Ah, another fist shot. was on that one. Just good location on his part. Trying to protect when I didn't need to. Helps if you pay attention to what the uh, ball and strike count is. All right, Sugar Shay, let's go. top of that. All right, through four. Two 
Rosario's time this time to make the great diving stop. All right, defense showed up today. I'll take a quick inning. Can't get to that one. Get it, throw it quick. Way to cover Burnsy. All right. Scoreless through five for them. Let's get some runs. As Harry Carey used to drunkenly yell, let's get some runs. There we go. That's out of here. Boom. First home run of the playoffs. That was smoked. That was a line drive the other way. Right off the end of the bat, too. Perfect, perfect off the end of the bat. Don't see that very often. Nope. Reached, rolled it again. It's the second time I rolled it over with him. Now oh, stay back. Wait for the ball. Wait for the ball. Can't believe he didn't catch that. They catch everything over there. One, one. All right, he's over 60 pitches, so that's good. Got under it. All right. Got another run. PCA. Apo Taco. Ground balls tonight. I love it. Man, he smokes that one over his head for a double. Right. Right down the pipe. Should have swung that one. How did he not swing at that? And how do we not get the call? That 
All right. No runs through six. New pitcher. And just swing away at the first pitch. Ball change up slider curve. Oof, stay back. Slide his change up looks like a curveball. Looks like a slow curve. Hammered way foul. Later, I dipped it. I said good, but I was under it. I dipped the PCI. All right. Two and two. All right, let's go. Base hit. Let's change this. That way, anybody coming in will realize it's game one. Ooh. Yeah, he wants a double play, so we're going to look low in the zone. You got the call there. One and one. Drag two. Swung right over the top of that one. one way over. Not only was I too early, I was way over the top. And there's a double play that he was looking for. All right. Through six innings, three nothing, Utah. Let's go. Bad location, I like the result though. Ooh, mm, didn't get that going. Go, make him roll over on that cur uh, slider. Good job, good job, good job. It's tardy on that one. Way out in front of that one. He's all messed up. All right. The run's allowed through seven. Let's go, let's go. Guess people don't like watching pitching uh, clinics, do they, Specta? Oh, we got under it. 
<coughs> All right. Let's see if we can be a little more selective on this one. We can get a pitch we can drive. He drove the last pitch he saw out for a home run to left field. <coughs> Stay back. That's another double play. I want him to get the ball up. Oh, got under it. Well, it's just not a double play. One more chance here to... Uh, Find some green. All right, Ahmed. Yeah. Curveball. I just can't stay back on it. It's so damn slow. That's uh, gonna. He throws it away. Go, go, go. We got wide. Keep going. Got to go down into the bullpen, and that's going to score a run. Hey, hey, that's that's what happens with this big, wide foul territory that San Diego makes us go with on these custom stadiums. Oh, Butler! It's twice you've done that. Gonna catch that one. All right, tack on run. Does he fly ball to center field? Just missed. One, one. Get there, Kobe. Get around the umpire. All right, two down. Four more outs. So all we need is four outs. Not getting that one. All right, we're through eight. Good job, Corbin Burns. We'll send you out for the ninth and see how uh, how it goes for that. Trying to flip that into right field and just take a leadoff single. Get on base. One ball, no strike. Way out in front. Way out in front. Hmm. Oh. 
All right, this is our pitch right here. Line drive right at him. Hit it well. <clears throat> Didn't have the right uh, launch angle, though. All right, Tyler. Mm, tardy. Right down the middle. That one might be out. Deep back to the track to the wall. Yes. Adios, She's been playing him at first base the whole damn year. <coughs> That's two opposite field home runs by left-handed batters tonight. into the wind. You can see the wind over here blowing straight in. That's the ball. Now Grand Slam doesn't even tie the game, so Burns is definitely going back out for the ninth. Ooh, we'll change it. We'll see uh, one and one. how that inning progresses. Might have to bring in Diaz or Rasmussen. Alvarado. <coughs> Lazy fly ball, and we're off to the ninth inning. Three outs to go for a complete game shutout. Didn't chase. How about the slider. Butler not getting there. <clears throat> All right. So we need a double play here. Six, four, three. Took one pitch. can speak double plays in existence just like the home runs. All right, he's at 107 pitches. Let's see if we can finish this off. He's not getting to that one. Chase. One and two. Mm. That missed. That's the ball. Two, two. There we go. Complete game shutout for Corbin Burns. Six hit shutout with eight Ks. One walk. I am going to I'm trying to get a picture of Burns here. I want to get him standing straight up. Right there. No. Nope. Right there. Let's 
Stop messing with me. <clears throat> All right. Two more to go. Yankees beat the Royals. Dodgers and Phillies are tied. The Braves and Milwaukee are tied. Just in case the save file gets corrupted. All right, Pablo Lopez, Luis Garcia. <clears throat> Put them in their road alternates. And I wish we had an alternate for us. <clears throat> Two alternates. I'd have a navy blue to wear on the road and I'd have a gold a gold to wear at home. <clears throat> All right. Clear skies tonight. All right. All right. Any changes? Nothing there. Nothing there. Same lineups. Let's go. Mr. Murder, how you doing, man? Welcome in. Well, that's uh, playing oh, here. Let me update. Yeah. Let me update my stream info. This is game two. And, yeah. Yeah. So, this is game two of the uh, ALDS. Utah leads 1-0. We, uh, Mr. Murder, we took the A's and simmed the first season and focused just on the draft and team building, and then we moved them to Utah, renamed them the Avengers, built this new stadium, and, uh, yeah, that's where we are. <clears throat> yeah, I found that logo out in the vault, and I changed the colors to match my team colors. So... It's been fun. We uh, accidentally won the division the first year because Texas can't beat us head to head. They lost nine out of 12 head to head. And then they lost two out of three to the White Sox the last three days of the season while we swept the Angels and ended up in a tie and won on the tiebreaker. Like my Windy City? Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I think I want to mess with the left field stuff a little bit and change some of that, but I do like that park. I'm uh I do a White Sox one next year for twenty five. I'll use that park. Like I'll uh, I'll play the first year in uh their current stadium and then we'll move them. I made that one that you could use it for either the Cubs or the White Sox, and then I there was a big big tall like bear statue and I I took it out. It doesn't make sense to have the bear there if you're gonna play with the White Sox. It's a fun place for home run derbies, too. Yeah. Yeah, there's a guy that I follow on YouTube named Gopper Gaming, and he made a uh, a White Sox park kind of based off of what their current plans are. Um... He's got a Royals stadium. He's got one in Vegas. He's got one in Arizona. He's got one. He uh, He's on YouTube, and you can watch him build his stadiums over there. Give me one second. Let me see if I can find his uh, PSN ID, because then you can go download stadiums for him, too. He makes really realistic-looking stadiums. Hold on one sec. Copper 
Stadium Creator. Don't see that. Let me see. Let me go back one. He's he's got a. Uh, is it this one? His PSN is baseball or something. So let me let me see if I can find. He's got a playlist here. Stadium Creator Series. No, not that one. Stop. I don't want to hear the video. I want you to go to the playlist 21. Let's go over here. Charlotte. That's Wybor. God damn, I'm so loud. Stop. All right, his his this is his uh this is his PSN for Gopper Gaming. And on YouTube it is this There you go. He uh doesn't talk a lot. His microphone isn't loud enough. <laughs> so it's not the most um, thrilling guy to watch. And that's a line drive home run. Um, so just put on double speed and mute it and just watch what he's doing. But he's got a lot of videos where he shows the different stadiums. And you can just go in the vault and download it. That was just a rope. This game's not starting like the last one did. Give me that pitch. <gasps> well, played a uh, really good game defensively and on the mound last game, and this one is not starting out well. The only thing I could tell him is either talk louder or jack up your microphone. <laughs> Can't hear what he's saying half the time. He's not there for uh, his oratory skills. He's there for his creating skills. But you still got to be loud enough people can hear you. I'd rather my microphone was too loud and you had to turn it down than not be loud enough and I, I max out the microphone and I still can't hear you. That's really annoying. Yeah. I wish they would overhaul the stadium creator and give us way more things that we can use way better seating configurations more smaller sections of seats and uh, just generally more of everything but less of like the, the broken down buildings and the monsters and all that garbage that nobody wants I don't know who thought that was cool I mean it was Japan because it was Shohei on the cover but you know, Godzilla theme, but that's fucking worthless. <laughs> Absolutely not worth having. It just wastes assets and wastes memory. Oh. And they need to get rid of the collision and let us put stuff right up against the batter's eye in center field and right up tight to the walls and get rid of the bullpens on the field. Yeah, I've watched Studio 44. I watched him for a long time, and the guy, um, I've submitted stadiums to him, and they don't use him at all, and he tends to uh, get on my nerves after a while. 
some of the teams are, that they'll show are really cool and some of them are just cartoonish. I'm looking at stadiums I can use in a franchise. But you do get some good ideas by just seeing what other people do. A little biased, yeah. See, those guys really like all the buildings and the roads and all the extra stuff outside the stadium. It's nothing that you can see from inside when you're playing. So it's just a waste of memory and a waste of time. Get out of play. Don't let him track that down. How long is that ball going to stay in the fucking air? He was trotting over there. There's another guy that's that's buddies with them that does like a stadium creator series. If you if you uh, put that in the search, it'll pull up his stuff. I've only had one YouTuber highlight one of my stadiums, and it was the uh, Treehouse in Oakland, the one I used last year with my A's franchise. Oh, my uh, my PSN is just Von Rye. Just chop the STL off, but it's the same spelling, capital V, capital R. And so all that stuff's out there. I'm working on a uh, retractable dome for Tampa Bay right now. Get down. Get down. Stay fair. Oh. Foot foul. That's going to get down. And it didn't get out of the park. We're going to have to hold him up a third, though. I'd rather bring up the next guy with a clutch, with his clutch on the line, than run into an out. There we go. See if we can get this game tied. Well, his clutch is probably not as good as his contact is. There we go. That's inside the bag. And we're going to have a tie game, boys. Back-to-back -back doubles just like that. It's a tie ball game. Yeah, some of the stuff, you can see a lot of stuff here. You can even see mountains beyond the uh, downtown area on this one. Um, so I, I do like seeing some of the, the tall buildings and all that, give it some character, but all the little details outside the park that you can't see ever kind of waste hindsight grim here i don't have a mod in here all my mods are uh off doing normal person stuff shout out mr murder and hindsight grimmy well i hit sp there you go let's do that there we go welcome welcome how you doing Grimmy, we took the A's and moved them to Utah, and we're in the playoffs, taking on the Twins. You enjoying that new uh, Call of Duty game? I used to be a huge Call of Duty person way back in the day, but once my kids started playing, I just gave up on it. Actually, when they got rid of the uh, mat, when they started doing the skill-based matchmaking bullshit. Instead of letting the newbies play against the uh, veterans, that's when I quit. That's how I got good, was playing against really good people. And, uh, try come on, it was just a slider. You get your ass kicked all day long, you figure out how to get better.
All right, maybe he's finding his rhythm now. That was a terrible first inning, and see what we can do here the rest of this game. Corbin Burns threw a six-hit shutout the first game of the series. I mean, a chase. He hasn't thrown one even remotely close to the middle of the plate. I'm just bad on that. Hey, Mr. Murder, I was. Uh... There we go. I didn't do it because I didn't have any examples of writing, but I was like this close to applying for this job with uh, Baseball America to uh, write about college baseball. So you'd have to write stuff every month and then help prepare for the uh, MLB draft. It was 100% remote, but... Oh, there we go. Langoliers takes that shit deep. Um, and Mizzou's only an hour and a half away, so I could go there and watch SEC baseball. We're hitting a lot of opposite field home runs in the playoffs. Last game I had two lefties hit him out to the left. This ballpark is at elevation, but it's also got really deep outfield walls and really high outfield walls, so we don't get any of those cheap ones that just squeak over. Doesn't seem to matter. We've hit a couple of 500-foot home runs over here by that by that little portal up there. We hit him in the stands and by the steps. Way over there by the scoreboard. There we go. We're just hammering this shit out of him now. Um, had a couple of 500 foot bombs in this park. See, American League equivalent to Coors Field. I mean, Utah is at 4,000 feet, so. Major League Baseball put a team there, we'd have another Coors Field. No, yeah, it's too shallow. Even with Pete Crow. Yeah. Also apply for a job with Rawlings. Dealing with the uh, players and agents and teams and stuff for uh, their custom orders for bats and gloves and stuff like that. But there was like 79 people that applied for that job and I haven't heard back. That office is like 15 minutes away from where I live. <clears throat> and I, uh, a family friend who played baseball with my younger son from four years old all up. He's the starting catcher for the Durham Bulls. So I was trying to get see if they knew anybody at Rawlings. And yeah. Loud crowd for nothing. Bats showed up today. Let's see if we can keep them off the base paths. There we go. Nice slow curve. Got in corners now. Let's go down there again. Tempt fate with that low inside pitch. And he chased it. There we go. As much as I enjoy refing, I need a, a new need a full-time gig. Get that last full-time job before I retire. Been semi-retired for like eight years, but I need to go back and do some real work. Getting bored. Oh, 
We just can't get the edge calls for anything. Fastball instead, hit the wrong button. All right, a little pop fly to Pete Crow. <clears throat> Come on, Tyler. We had him in the minor leagues. We were playing Noda at first base. And Noda was doing okay. But we needed a young catcher for our minor leagues, and the Dodgers needed a first baseman because Freddie's getting old and they have nothing below him. So we we got Dalton rushing from the Dodgers and then called up Soderstrom, and he just went nuts. He was hitting 400 for a while. Ah. Swing at first pitch. Got to stop doing that. Well, he carved me up. That was bad at bat. Doesn't have the arm to throw him out. Oh, really? Get that. Good throw. Kept him from moving up. It's always good. Change up. Seamer up and in. Got him. Buck's Nest be one of the biggest wastes of talent in the majors in a while just because he cannot stay healthy ever. If he could ever put a 600 at bat season, the dude would be phenomenal, but. He can barely get 300 ABs. He just slice and dice Manzardo and Buxton to get out of that little jam. <clears throat> we haven't done this for a while. Not that. We're on Hall of Fame batting and legend pitching, so... Pitching is definitely different than it was last year. Like I give up way more home runs this season than I ever did. And the foul ball slider doesn't work because we're still seeing entirely too many foul balls every at bat. All right, Shay, you went one for three with a single, and you are one for one with a homer in this one. Ooh. Two and two. That's good. I was just trying to fight that off because I wasn't going to do much with that inside fastball. PCA. Can't drop. Nope. South field is played too shallow. Way too shallow. All right, Ahmed. Oh, 
right down the pipe and pop it up. That was a quick half in. Alright, through four, it's four to two. Catching that. Let's see about change up. Four seam. Come on, Larry, get there. Dig on your horse, on your horse. Wow. Almost misplayed that. down. Oh, flip that down there and just thought he was going to get a cheap double. Strike three. Sit down, clown. All right. Done it. Stellar job after that first inning. And it's going to give you a base hit. There we go. Get out there and hook that through the hole. This is the guy we really got to get going. Rocket right at him. It's too low. Either had to be lower or higher, but not there. All right, Willie. Be patient. Get a pitch to drive. What are you doing? Swung right over that. It's gonna catch that. It's really deep out there. It's gonna get there, get there, get there, get there. No, I mean, that's a double. Thought that was going to hop over. Fuck, stop fouling everything off.
God damn. This fucking game. 19 fucking foul balls and then one over the plate and he hits it out. What's up, Batten? How you doing, man? This fucking game. Well, Corbin Burns threw a six-hit shutout in game one. Retired, like, 14 in a row at one point. And we gave up two in the first inning, came back and tied it, took the lead, and he was pitching well, and then Jeffers just fouled off 19 fucking pitches and left a slider over the plate, and he hits it out for a home run. Yeah, we won the division on the last day. We beat the Angels, and the White Sox beat the Rangers. So we won our last six games, and they uh, lost three to us and two out of three to the White Sox. So we tied, and we won on a tiebreaker because we beat them nine out of 12, including all six at Texas. <clears throat> So, yeah, we surprisingly won the division and did not have to uh, take on the Yankees in the wild card. Texas did, and they lost. He went, ring his ass up. Come on, pay attention. the inning tied should still be leading yeah it's not like our, we had you know six guys hitting 40 home runs I mean it helped having Burns and Freed so the pitching definitely helped Rooker entered with 300 for a 340 100 season and he didn't even get into the top three in the American League MVP <laughs> Adamas ended up with 30 bombs. Soderstrom just ignited the bottom half of the order when he came up. He had a really good season, so he'll be starting first base next year. Is he going to hit two to the opposite field today? No, he robs him. That's why I put that short fence over there. What's my plans? Well, considering guys like Scooble and Crochet are free agents, <laughs> Jazz Chisholm, you know, we could spend a ton of money if we had it, but we don't. So, um, I don't know if I really should go sign one of those big pitchers. I mean, they're both young, so it would make sense, but I might, uh, I might not. I might work on trying to trade some of our minor league players off to get younger minor league players and trim some salary there get rid of those guys making six and seven hundred grand for somebody making 60 and 70 grand he's not going to get that if I miss that, it's a triple, at least. Where's he at pitch-wise? All right. Castro's power will go up a touch. Lewis's will go down. 
Larnox will go down. So this is the time for Alvarado. Plus he throws a sinker. Yeah, he had 220 ERA and a 109 whip. 21 holds, 3-3 three and three record. No. No one said he's going. I didn't hear anything saying, runner's going. Yeah, we have Alvarado, Rasmussen, and uh, Mason Miller, and we have Alexis Diaz, too. We traded um, Jackson to the Reds and got Alexis Diaz. I forgot what we traded for Alvarado. We got him. There we go. We get him after the first season. Fastball up and in. Oh, missed just by a hair. Fuck, not the location I wanted. Wanted it up and away, not right down the pipe. Fuck. God damn these foul balls! He had fouled one more ball. I was going to drill him in the fucking head. Yeah, I'll let him bat. I was going to pinch it with Adele, but I think I'll save Adele for Kelman. We need his defense out in center field. Way up front. Thank you. Yeah, I love them. I love that it's not white, too. That's the cream color. I just took the gold stripe and pushed it all the way up to the top to make it as light as I could. <clears throat> and I tried. It was never going to be 
gray on the road. It doesn't go with that, that gold color very well. I used to have a navy blue shirt instead of the powder blue. Um, but I decided to go with the baby blue. Rooker's on deck if I can get on base. And we strike out. Son of a bitch. He went, ring him up. Come on! <laughs> Refresh, guys. We just lagged out big time. I don't care about the walk. I just didn't want to give up a home run. Brown's not even their closer, Griffin Jackson's. This is our Cardinals closer <clears throat> at the end of our uh, franchise when we won the World Series. There we go. Get that through. <clears throat> he was a tying run I'd run with SD Ruiz, but we're going to leave him because I'm hoping we uh, tie this up and we might have him bat in extra innings. All right, Adamas. You know he's going to want to throw it low and get a double play here. One on one at the knees. Yeah, they've changed so many times. Nah, don't swing at that. That splitter is just a double play inducer. And there it goes.
Batten, did you see the uh, Blues Winter Classic uniforms they're going to wear at Chicago on New Year's Day? They're, uh, they're pretty bling. They, they got some stripes and just says St. Louis across the front with the blue note on the shoulder. It's it's pretty plain. I don't mind it. They don't need to be ridiculous every time. Sometimes plain is, is good enough. Garberto spent most of the year down in AAA. Wrigley Field. They're going to play at Wrigley Field against the Blackhawks. Big old sweeping slow curve. Ready? <laughs> Hard to time ends up in a lot of pop ups. Yeah, it should be <coughs> ESPN, NBC, probably gonna be on NBC. I don't know, it might be ESPN. It's New Year's, New Year's Day, I believe. Try this big fat curveball again. Didn't want to swing at it. Fuck. The sheer volume of foul balls is enough to make you want to drink. That's twice now that they've fouled off 15 fucking pitches just to get an extra base hit. <sighs> we have a day off after this game so I can burn through a bunch of guys. I don't know why the runners run on foul balls. They're not going to score. <laughs> I had no I understand why this game, the runners will run on foul balls with with two outs. All right. 
bottom four of the order, so we're going to have to uh, be patient here. That was right down the pipe. Fuck. We aren't going to sweep him anyway, but I don't want to play five games today. front of that pitch all right let's get this game over with rookie of the year was a guy on the Red Sox <clears throat> he's a D potential 72 overall and he's gonna regress heavily next year because I think he's already at or above his uh, his potential Xavier Isaac finished second. I can show you when we get done with this game. I know P. See if you can find a hole somewhere. Didn't want to take a third strike on that, so we swung and missed anyway. All right, well, that was bullshit. Let's take a look at the uh, the amount of foul balls. I hate these in-between transition. Pitcher analysis. Twins. No. Avengers. Look at all of those foul balls. Time of the ball game, three hours and thirty minutes. Fifty-eight. Fifty-eight foul balls. And we had eighteen. Now I know why I'm crabby. <laughs> um, here you go. Here are the awards. So MVP was Vladdy, and he I think he's a free agent. Yeah, he's a free agent. National League was Shohei. Um, Grayson Rodriguez was Cy Young. Shohei. Freaking Spencer Strider, 244Ks. Seeger had the batting title. Profar had a batting title. Griffin Jacks was closer of the year. Gratterall, closer. Here we go. Jaime Salas, 290 with 23 and 67. D potential. That really should go up. So when we get done with this season, I'm going to make him a C. If you win Rookie of the Year, you should get a boost in your your potential. So he's going to go up to a C so that he plays more than a year. So he needs to go up. He's a deep potential. Xavier Isaac was second. Luis Angel Acuna was third. Jackson Holiday was in the National League. Drew Gilbert, Andre Pajes were... So... Can I do it? Let me let me fix him right now. Let me see if just do this right now before I forget. Yeah, 61 overall. He was a 61 potential with a 72 overall. <laughs> San Diego, I mean EA, you got to stop doing this shit. So we're we're going to push him up. And we'll make him a 75. So he's not going to go stupid nuts, but at least he's going to be a C potential. 
So now he's his C. So he'll stop regressing. Dude's 19 years old. All right. So Braves are up 2-1 to in Milwaukee. Dodgers up 2-1 to on Philly. Yankees and Royals are tied. And we are tied. Here, Batten, check this out. This was September. Look at this. So we sweep the Dodgers four games, beat the Pirates three of four, beat the Dodgers in two. Then we lose three in a row and lose three out of four to the Mariners. Beat Boston two out of three. Lose two out of three to Seattle. So we went one and five against Seattle in that month. But then we go to Texas. We played this game. Player locked in those two games. And we sweep Texas. And then we sweep the Angels. And Texas loses two out of three to the White Sox. Got swept by us. And that's how we tied for the division. And won on tiebreakers because we beat them nine out of 12. I was expecting, you know, wild card. We play the Yankees in the wild card round, and no. <laughs> we we somehow managed to get the division. All right. Let's look at theirs. That's their home. Their alternates. I kind of like those two. Their city connects. They're not bad, but no. Senators, twins. See, I grew up there were wearing these, these two. And these give me bad vibes from when we they beat us in the 87 series. So they have these home alternates. We're wearing baby blues. Maybe the second game will wear those. All right. We, we're in baby blues so in there. Clear skies. Hold on. What time is this game? 105. You know what happens during day games in this ballpark, right? You saw me. I couldn't see. Could not see. Yeah, this is going to be overcast because we cannot see. The glare off the center field batter's eye is filthy. Literally can't see the pitch. So we're going overcast. Now we can see. <clears throat> It's it's out it's easily the worst ballpark in this game to try and hit during day games. Because the glare off here, it's damn not even damn near, it's absolutely impossible to see the ball. One ball, no There we go. Flip that out there. No. Yeah, I'm, I wish Cardinals would go back. We have them. Uh, we wear them on Saturday road games, just like we wear our cream home versions on Saturday home games. I wish he would just wear the baby blues all the time. Wish... What's up, K-Manny Swag? How you doing? Oh, here we go. Beat that out. Thank you. Bullsh... <laughs> Come on. He makes that play, and a left-handed batter can't beat this throw. K-Money, we're playing the playoffs here. Let me fix my... Uh... Title. We are uh, in our first round of the playoffs, and it is series tied 1-1. One, one. Helps if I can put the S in there. All right, this is game three. There. Makes it helpful for you guys. Yep, just... Uh, Playing this 
Oakland A's uh, relocation franchise. We moved them to Utah, and this is our first year at Utah. And uh, trying to get past the Twinkies here in the fir our first round. Thank you. I found that on the uh, on the logo vault. Just go through there and just just cycle through. You'll you'll find some really stupid ones, and you'll find some really nice ones too. So. Um, it's it's a different color scheme out there than this. I changed it for the colors that we wanted to go with. But it's a really good logo. I assume they were wanting to make it, a, you know, as the angels. But yeah, these unis, I uh, I've been playing with them on my Diamond Dynasty team all year, so I was like, I want to use this in a franchise. So four. Six, three, thank you. Originally, I had dark blue jerseys, but I was like, you know, we're just going to go throwback with these, these baby blues. And I didn't put the logo on the shirt. I just made Utah really big because, you know, Yankees just says New York. It doesn't even have the NY. It just says New York on it, right? So it doesn't have to be this big creative graphical logo and just go with the state so got a nice custom stadium too yeah I'll, I'll show you uh, after we have a custom stadium that we just finished up playing games one and two since it's in Utah, it's at elevation, so it's over 4,000 feet, so the ball will jump, so it's, it's a big stadium. And the walls are like 10 foot high for the most part in left and right. There's some lower sections in the corner, and it's a little bit lower in dead center field, but it's also like 410 to center field. But we made sure you could see the mountains, because there are Rocky Mountains close to uh, Utah. It's not... Uh, out in the middle of nowhere. Damn. Fourth QB. They don't want to pay him at all. They shouldn't have paid him in the first place. Makes no sense to pay these mediocre quarterbacks just because he's a veteran and he's been around, even though he's sucked his whole career. So why would you spend that money on him? I guess they weren't ready for, uh, you know, draft a rookie QB, but I'm sure there are other veteran quarterbacks that could have, didn't they have Drew Locke at the time? They could have just paid Locke a whole lot less, had the same results. We still have Locke. He's not even going to be starting. They're going to go with DeVito, right? Yeah. These teams are so mismanaged. Both New York teams are garbage. Yeah, Giants are uh, they're starting DeVito, their third third string quarterback. Save thirty million. Still, they got. They're still going to have dead. Some of that money being dead cap that they didn't need to spend on him. <laughs> poor, poor roster management. How you doing, Coach? All right. Max has had a little trouble this year keeping the ball in the ballpark. So we're, we're trying to be a little careful with him. Catch that pop up. Thank you. And then you have teams like the Saints who like have overspent on so many guys that I think they're like 
they're like a ridiculous amount of money already over the cap for next year. So, yeah. And you knew why he went to Philly. Well, they're a good team, and he gets to play the Giants twice a year and shove it. Still can't believe we had 59 foul balls last game. That's why I gave up two of those extra base hits because they just kept fouling every single pitch. I tried every pitch and I had. Yeah. Didn't they sign uh, Kamara to an extension too? They could have just let him go and gone with somebody else. Tua needs to learn to slide <clears throat> or just don't run. Throw the fucking ball away. I wish he would throw the ball to Waddle because he's killing me on my team this year. I do have a chance, so that helps. And I picked up Johnu Smith last week because uh, cause Kittle was out. Damn. Carr is awful, but their team plays better with him than they did with whoever they were playing for a while when he was injured they they played like absolute garbage look how fast that run that that pitcher outran my position player <laughs> he like zips over to the bag no don't swing at that garbage oh bailey is not throwing Overpowering stuff. We just can't put the ball in play past their infield. Ball one. See if we can fall off 19 pitches. Look at that. Everything is right at him. There we go. Yeah, they, they waste way too much money in the NFL. Just flat out waste it. See if we can drop this curveball on the back corner. Ooh. Deshaun Kersey Jr. Don't know this guy. Not getting that. Here come the foul balls. I had a good pitch count going, and they're going to wreck it. One, two. Uh -huh, three. Three, no 
Change up, then curve. Fastball up and in. I want this strikeout. Communicate. There we go. Thank you very much. Yeah. Problem with the Cowboys is 100% Jerry Jones. They uh, they should be a lot better than they are with the pieces they have, but he oh. just completely mismanages that team. Should have brought Belichick in, but he didn't want another Jimmy Johnson where <clears throat> Jimmy's Jimmy was smarter than Jerry and Jerry wanted to take all the credit. Ah. Dak uh, pulled his hamstring so bad he had to have surgery, so he's done. I think he pulled it off the bone. Partially pulled it off the bone. Oh. He's done. He's out. We get Trey Lance and Cooper Rush. Make sure you have your, uh, schedule your dinner on Thanksgiving for that 4.30 Eastern time slot because it's the Giants and the Cowboys. Lions earlier in the day is going to be fun. I think the Bills play later, the, the night game. So those will be good ones, but the Cowboy-Giants game is going to be fat garbage. Packers and Dolphins are the late game. That'll be good, too. Keep both quarterbacks healthy. God, I can't get the ball out of the infield. Do we even have a hit? Does he have a no-hitter through four? We have one. All right. I don't even remember it. George is coming this weekend, 49ers. Nice. Have a good game. Be a fun game for you guys to get together and go watch. I had the uh, Packers defense special teams, but I wasn't going to play them this week against San Francisco. <laughs> So I, uh, I went and got the Bears because they're playing Minnesota. The guy I'm playing this week beat me in week one because he had two defensive touchdowns by the Bears defense special teams. So I picked him up and I'm trying to return the favor this week. So let's see. I haven't been to an NFL game. Well, since the Rams were here with Warner. Went to a few games out in Colorado at Mile High Stadium, the old Mile High, um, when I was in college. Here's Mr. Foul Ball Machine right here, this asshole.
Give me the ball. Quit pointing at me. Over 20 pitch innings. Ah. <clears throat> All right, we got to get the offense going, man. We cannot go down two to one. Jimmy G, nah. He's not even playing anymore, is he? Rams is backing up then. He's not even starting. Stafford's like way better. There we go. I'll take the walk. Thank you. All right, Tyler, you were the spark down the stretch. Let's get it going in this game. That might be out of here. Get off the wall at least. Go, go, go. Gone. Home run. There we go, boys and girls. Now, Garoppolo's not that young either. He's not Stafford old, but he's... He's a walking uh, turnover machine right now. Damn. Look at that crash. All right. Give us the lead. Fair ball. Good, good, good. Go. He misplayed it. I was holding up at first because that short wall he makes two misplays. My goodness. Who the hell's in left field? All right, Jared. Be patient. Make him put it right over the middle. That's going to be another deep shot. Off the wall. And he's not going to score because we had to hold up to wait to see if he was going to catch it. All right. Come on, Sugar Shay. Let's go. Bats finally woke up. Strike anyway. That was a nice pitch. You get the ball up in the air. All right, base hit. I'm going to hold him at third. Three nothing lead. Big breakout here in the fifth inning. Still nobody out. And they bring in a new pitcher. Cole Irvin. Double play will still score us a run. Fly ball will get us a run, too. Yeah, strikeout won't get us anything. There we go. Little bloop gets another run and keeps the inning going with nobody out. All right, Ahmed. Can we keep the merry-go-round going? Death by a thousand cuts. A couple of big balls off the wall, one over the wall. <clears throat> That's a double play. It's okay. It was a huge productive inning. Still got one more shot to get a run in here. Come on, Larry Butt. Let's go. It was three feet over my head, and I swung in it. All right, big four-run inning. 
Nice job, boys. Nice job. Yo, Max is pitching the best he has all year. Bouncer to first. There we go. Two down. go we already had a complete game shutout in game one with Corbin Burns rebrand not changing the name the uh, nickname or anything just re just new colors and then there we go Rooker with a bomb yeah that would be fun it's always fun to uh, get new unis and swag out. This went from a game house having trouble getting on base. We only had one hit before last inning, and now we have seven. Their bullpen is not strong, so... Just keep this going. Play. That's the ball. Two, two. Nice. Yeah, I would. I don't know. I like both. I like the the gloss and the matte. So either one of those would would be good. But if you went with a matte helmet, then um, need a need a logo that really pops off of there, though. Actually, really like the chrome helmets. The the Texans with their red chrome helmets that they wore last week, a week before, a week before. Those were fire. Those red ones. I didn't like the logo because there was no white accent, so you couldn't hardly tell they were horns. But those that red chrome with the red chrome uh, face mask was incredible. Got him. Hey, I can send it to me. I do, uh... 
I used to do Photoshop shit all the time for work. <laughs> but yeah. I could mock stuff up for you. There we go. Let's get through this inning, man. go we're through six come on boys we're probably gonna have to uh go to the bullpen i don't think he's gonna have enough gusto to go nine unless he has a very short seventh inning oh kelnick sounded better than it was Man, almost pinned him deep in that corner. All right, let's not swing at three pitches. We're going to take this no matter what. Ball one. Oh, one ball, no strike. Coach, we could also... Um, pull them into team builder on NCAA and that would let you look at multiple different options you put the logo on there change the colors make it chrome make it gloss make it matte you can do all kinds of shit in there there were there were times back in August September I was watching uh Stoner Gamer just just mess around in Team Builder with his Taco Bell and all his other his other uh, corporate teams he put together like Arby's and all that. Yeah, it's it's nice. You get an idea ahead of time. Hold it. We're not gonna have time to get two, so let's get the fast guy. Ooh, sinker just missed. All right, take two outs on the infield. Come on, Kelnick, you got the wheels. There we go. All right, through seven. We'll let him start the eighth and see how it goes. Man, we just flat out woke up after the uh, after the fourth inning. We got to the fifth inning. We just started going nuts. Thank you, Coach. I'll check that out when we're done. Ah, terrible. Fucking terrible. Couldn't do anything in that, even if I made contact. Let's go. Get the ball up. Up. That's better. Go, what are you waiting for? All right. Mr. Rooker. Homer does last time. Let's see if we can park another one. Hang that shit again. Orange and gray? Um, depends on the gray. If it's a dark gray, think think like uh, Tennessee, and they had their uh, their all gray unis, and they had orange numbers and stuff. If you make it too light of a gray, then it the orange, and it also depends on the orange. Is it going to be like a red orange like the Broncos, or a light orange like Tennessee? And it it really depends on the different shades of both the gray and the orange. Let's 
send him to third where he can score on a fly ball or a ground out. Who's up next? Soderstrom. All right, Tyler. Goodness. Fouled it right into the mitt, damn it. All right, Kobe. Thought I was on that one. All right, guys, here. Yeah, never mind. We'll wait until this plays over. I was considering making a change in the offseason to the hats, the road hats. Ooh, he got up on top of that one, didn't he? Shit. That's going to plate two. Holy crap, that was way up in his eyes, and he hammered that to the gap. It's eight to nothing. All right, on the hats, instead of it being solid blue... The bill would be the, not the baby blue, but the, the darker. Like. Like on the sock here. See, it's a different blue. It's not the baby blue. So it'd be, so look at the, the two blues together and the lighter blue would be the bill of the cap. So. Or just leave it all blue. Dark blue on the road. Don't do it too tough. Man, we're just killing these guys now. This game was scoreless in the top of the fifth, and we only had one hit. And now we're just hammering them. And even save some of these runs for the next game. Although it does make our guys hot, which makes it better to uh, use the build to a lighter blue. I can go in and like do the rebrand, or actually, actually, I can show you my Diamond Dynasty. My Diamond Dynasty team is the exact same uniform and name and everything, so I can just go in there and show you. Then I don't have to mess with it. I really just want to make the out, but I don't want to strike out. We have gold on the hat already on the home ones. They have a gold bill. I don't think the gold goes really well with the uh, baby blue. And them side to side by side isn't a strong look. He is not going to pitch again in this series, so we can. There's one out. Hey, if he gets through this inning really fast, we'll leave him in. He's not going to get that. And then he misplays it. Because he's fucking terrible. give up the run and we'll pitch somebody else in the ninth inning Or we can take him out right now. Now 
It's a lazy fly ball. I'm just swinging to get this inning over with so we can move on to the next game. All right, come on, Rasmus, and finish this off. This motherfucker drives me insane with his foul balls. Sit your ass down. There's two down. Wow. Oh. Oh, no. Tried to paint that corner. Jump throw. Got him. That's a winner. There we go. And that's a winner. That's a winner. Yeah, I can show you that after this game. Give me one sec. Let me save. Max with 10 Ks. What a game by Max Freed. We had one hit the first four innings, and then we went nuts. Kansas City's up 2-1 on the Yankees. Phillies and Dodgers, Braves and Milwaukee are both tied at 2. Save this. Here, let me, let me show you these hats real quick before I go into the stadium creator. So if we go in here... Let me change the bill to that. Might need to do the, uh, let me check if we do powder blue instead. What if we did powder blue? Like, just like the Toronto's. Yeah, I think I'll stick with Navy. All right. Ballpark. <clears throat> These are all the ones I've made. Mr. Murder was in here earlier. Windy City. We play the White Sox next year. We're going to use this one. 
Um, I made one for Charlotte. I just upgraded that and put those high seats in dead center field. This is a one that I made originally for Tampa Bay, but it, eh. this is a Royals one that I made. This is one I made for the Tampa Bay relocation when we moved them to Nashville. Here's my uh, treehouse park in Oakland that we used last season. No, I'm not going to rebrand them. And Gopper Gaming made these two versions of a Wybor City Park for uh, Tampa Bay. Um, this is the one he made for the White Sox. This is the one I'm, I'm working on for Tampa Bay right now. It's got a a fake retractable dome. But this is the one. The Dodgers one? I don't have a Dodgers one. This is this is the one we're playing in right now, our home stadium in Utah. Here's what it looks like from home plate. We got a little club seats here with a uh, party deck all the way down. So you can sit here and watch the game. And then uh, got staircase up, got concessions there, more concessions over here entryway it's a bathroom nachos and hot dogs go down some steps here advertisements chili dog place hidden in the corner there and let me see yeah and then at night this is what it looks like can't see the mountains barely but i added these lights these accent lights these right here so it, it gives it some light throughout put them over there get a little playground here so you can stand down here and watch the game through the fence but anyway that's the one that's our home ballpark I made that one. That one took me, I don't know, probably 10 or 12 hours to do maybe. Did it? I didn't do it all at once. Although I can easily drop 12 hours making stadiums. I'm going to show you the one I'm making for Tampa Bay right now. The gas plant district is a place in St. Petersburg. And this is where they were going to build their new stadium that they just lost funding for. So this isn't exactly how they were going to make the stadium. I'm kind of using it as inspiration. I'm making my own. So this is all open. I haven't gotten this part done yet. Um, concessions down here, a little short wall. With club seating up there. Um, still working on this. I'm not 100% sold that this is going to stay the way it is. This, this open fencing is going to go all the way down as far as it'll let me. Um, and again, I have to do all of this area. But what I did was, let me zoom up. This is like the retractable roof. So what it does is it's, it's out here and it slides together in the middle. So that's, that's what it, the concept is. And this is just decoration. It's just architecture for them. And then these are just support poles to support the roof all the way around, right? But the four of them that are in the middle here have the lights right here, see? The lights are hidden in the poles. And then we have, this is all sand, little garden, little party area, a little garden walking out. They have grass all out there. So that would all be open and the the top would just close to keep the rain off the top of the of, of the field um 
and but this area out here would all be open so you can see the parking lot and the grass and all of this area and it's got a little marina but on the back side all of this would be closed all the way around um, get down here this is what it looks like from home plate so it'll be open through here for sure but it won't be open all the way through there so um, and this is what it looks like at night so it's still a work in progress but yeah the stadium builder in here um, And you just you have uh, different stands you can play with. See if I, I could also slide this back. So you could have lower seating here like this. And then you could push some seats back. Tear it up. Yeah, so. Anyway, then you can change the uh, you can change the field. This is bluegrass, but you can do fescue, rye, synthetic, Bermuda. Let's go, and then we can put a different patterns for the field for the grass. Different dirt, clay, dark clay like clay, sand. So. I'm making that for next year because if they don't put the Rays in Tropicana and MLB 25, then I will put them in this field or one of the fields the other guy made. Here's Windy City. This is this is the one I'm going to – we do the White Sox next year. I'll play the first year in their current – I know it's not Comiskey, but I know it as Comiskey. And then we'll move it into this one. This is a like more of a downtown – we have people sitting out here. And these are like offices over here built into the side. And you got a little picnic area down here with concessions and they're standing looking through the fence. And you have different layers of uh, like bleacher seats all the way up that wall. You got more. We will patio out here they can stand on there's another area with seating up there there's another party deck up here with people on top so and then when you're batting you're looking down third base that's what you see down first base dead center field and then at night it looks like that so I took those lights that I had on my other one and I dotted them all the way around just to add more accent lighting. Provides a little depth perception for you. But that's a fun one if you want to uh, do a home run derby in for sure. Anyway, let's get back to playing. We got at least one, if not two more games. Okay, money, you have to be on a PlayStation to, to do it. You can't do it on Xbox. Um, it's right up here under Create, where that little paintbrush is, and it says Stadium Creator, and that's how you go in. And you can make your own stadiums, or you can go into the vault and download other people's stadiums. So if you want to, uh, if you're on PSN and you want to download any of mine, you just go do a search for that. Yeah, Xbox doesn't have it. All right, Joey Estes against Joe Ryan. This is a night game, so we don't have to mess with the... Uh, we're going to put them in red. These right here. 
or all right you guys help me out should i go red like this should i go cream or should i do their city connect this is normal that's what we just had so they have these as an alternate that's their city connect and these are older ones cream all right we can go cream cream against sky blue clear skies joey let's go i'm getting hungry i only i had a sandwich right before i went live but about all i had so i'm gonna have to snack on some mixed nuts here Have a good one, Coach. Thanks for stopping by, man. Good to talk to you. I haven't seen you in forever. When I get done playing, I'm going to go... I'm going to go to Chipotle myself, and then I'm going to go to the grocery store and get a few items, but... I haven't had Chipotle in forever, so I'm going to go pig out. Let me change this. Here, I'm going to, I know he might have just jumped out. Maybe he's still doing I'm going to shout out Coach again. If you guys play college football, you need to go watch him play. He uh, knows how to play defense. He, he Back in NCAA 14, he had a defense only. He was a defensive coordinator. All he did was play defense and let it sim offense. So he would win national championships just playing defense. He's an actual high school coach. Let's go, Brent. One ball, no strike. There we go. Down in the corner. Come on, Rooker. Run. Keep that inning alive. See if Willie can find a little hole somewhere. A little fister, a little flare. Guys swinging good pitches, though. That's a rope. Is he going to get over his head? No. Damn. Looked like he hit it harder than that. There we go, Pete. That's why we got you. For those wheels in center field, man. No, that no, ball. Hard one hopper. There we go. Good throw. Two down. Third 
Easy one, two, three. There we go. There we go. Kansas City leads the Yankees four to two in the fourth. That's what that little scoreboard said. Right out there. Come on, Ty. Oh, that's low. Hey, that's Thought he was going to get that. One, six, three, double play. Thank you very much. Here you go, Joey. All right, no harm, no foul. Give up a double with two outs. It doesn't score, and that's good. My glasses. Tardy. Get out there and get that pitch. What's up, girls? Hello, Zoo. Hello. Hello. Two and two. Just a minute. Just a minute. All right. You need to go outside. Let's go. Just missed. Did under it. Hey. 
zero balls, one strike. Strike two! Here we go, get through. Unbelievable. Thank God I have wheels in center field. Shit. up but that's two outs and we strand them at third there we go no harm no foul Gotta quit swinging at the first pitch. God damn. Ball. One oh. The fuck that was about. Just a hot a fly ball. Didn't get enough.
All right, two down. Time to strand him again. Not where I wanted that pitch at all. All right, no score through four. This is where we got it. Started last time, one hit through four innings. Same as this one. Broke loose. We win this game, we go on to the ALCS. We lose this game, we go back home and play game five. daughter just texted me. Be right back. Sorry about that. Had to uh, check something for my daughter. Get the dogs back inside. And looks like I have some boys volleyball in the spring that I matches that I need to uh, go in and accept. Take more pitches. That's inside ball. All right. Up against the wall. Lucky that didn't drop into that overhang. Up next to the the first base Get 
Oh, that's what I wanted was the ground ball. And he hit it through the hole. Damn. He's trying to get a double play. I'll take that pop up. Nobody moves up. And it makes two outs. So now they need to hit the drive in a run. Come on, Pete. There we go. Dodge the bullet. God, you know, good swing at the first pitch. And the second pitch. There we go. Let me get a man on base. And we can steal with Petey. Safe. There we go. Flinched. God damn it. Wrong time to flinch. Come on, Larry. Uh, it's not going to be enough. He's going to catch that. Got him. Look at Chase. There we go. There we go. It's only our second strikeout. Really. No foul balls for you, dude. There, Kelnick. Thank you. All right. Scoreless through six. Offense needs to wake up. We only got two hits. Two out double by Rooker in the first, and then that single by Pete last inning. And 
We're going to get another base hit right here. This was the ninth at pinch run with Ruiz, but I need Rooker batting later in the game. All right, he's going to try for a double play here, so we need to look low and try and get the ball in the air. Son of a bitch. Play. No ball. Two one. He's up. Yeah. Your ball would strike. probably his last inning. They're hitting the ball pretty hard off him right now, although his pitch count's not very high. Try to backdoor that slider. There we go. All right, scoreless through seven. <laughs> Not anymore. Upper deck. That was an upper deck shot. Wow. 403, Kobe says, suck my dick. <laughs> that was a bomb. Upper deck. Boom. Gone. I want to get a picture of that.
He threw less than 70 pitches. He was in the 60s when he... It wasn't like he was tired, so I don't know why they took him out of the game. I don't get that. He threw that away in the dugout. That'll put us at second base. Reached. He's going nowhere. An extra one, <clears throat> an extra run would be helpful, though. Just a high fly ball. Kobe Mayo. Traded for him in the uh, spring training of the very first year with Oakland. We sent them Zach Geloff. All right. We are not going to let him blow this game. Mr. Alvarado is coming in. Make a good pitch and pay for it. One down. Didn't move up. No, that's down. Ball. That's down. That's a ball. And he had to hold up because he wasn't sure if that ball was going through or not, so that still keeps him at first and second. Three, six, three, and we're out of the jam. Yes, let's go. Way to go, Diaz. Huge double play. Huge. Was a good throw there and a good throw back. We are three outs away from the uh, ALCS. Let's go. That's 
That's a ball. One ball, no strike. Ooh. You gonna track that down, Buxton? Yep. I'm not catching that one. All right, we're going to the ninth inning. With a one-run lead. All right, we need to make some changes here. Here we go, Mason Miller, 41 save during the season. Had more strikeouts than innings pitched. Trying to close this series out. There's one out. Got him. Made him chase. <laughs> One out to go. One out to go. One strike to go. Got him! There we go, boys and girls. We're off to the ALCS. And that's a winner! That's a winner! <laughs> it's either the Royals or the Yankees. Five hits, but we got the one when we need. Look at that. Six hits, one walk, three Ks, no runs for Joey. Bullpen finished that off. Ryan didn't pitch badly at all. One bad pitch. And it went to the upper deck.
<laughs> so yeah, Kobe Mayo puts us in the ALCS. And we're going to play the Royals. All right, boys. There it is. We're playing the Royals. Let me sim, sim, sim. It's the Phillies. Phillies knocked off the Dodgers. Milwaukee knocked off the Braves. So the Phillies in Milwaukee, Kansas City in Utah, and the Phillies have already won game one of the NLCS. So Burns, Garcia, Freed, Estes, Burns, Garcia, Freed. All right. And we're on the road. Road again. So, hey, if we can sneak one of these two games, we could go home and win three and go to the World Series. Get to face Cole Reagans. Let's look at their... Reagans, Alec Marsh, Brady Singer, Seth Lugo, who won the Cy Young. Wright, Waka. They have Chris Bubich. Ursag led. He had 51 saves. He only had 38 strikeouts, though. That's really strange. Who's this guy? Wow. Um, Freddie Fermin. Salvi. He only hit 182. He's regressing. Pasquantino. 25. They have Brandon Lau. Michael Garcia, Bobby Witt at 291, 53 doubles. They have Evan Carter, really? He only hit 218. Jacob Young, Robles, Drew Waters, Isbell, Renfro's on the DL. He's done for the year. Darian Blanco. So... Their lineup, <clears throat> their outfield lineup does not look that intimidating. Not a lot of power in the outfield. So if we can just stay away from making a mistake to Carter with righties. So Witt, Brandon Lau, Pasquantino. Those are the three guys we got to avoid. <clears throat> All right. Let's save this before we screw something up. All right. Yeah, winning my first year would be awesome. Well, I tell you what, if we win the first year, we're not signing any big free agents at all. Not doing it. We're <laughs> going to bring the same team back. Um, because we've only spent 96 million. We have 50 million available. Look, these guys are only signed for three years. All these guys are signed for three years, except for Alvarado. Rasmussen's three. Miguel's the only one that's over three. Kelnick. So. All right. Let me show you this baton real quick. I'm doing a draft only one with the Marlins. So you sim the first season, you make one big trade, trade a player that's on your 40 man roster away for some stud that's not on the 40 man. And then you do the scouting and you do the draft. And then in the off season, you cut everybody that's on the 40 man roster. So all you can work with is the players that are left on the team, not on the 40 man and the players you draft, and then you do 26 rounds of the Rule 5 draft, because those are your new Major League players, and you just build through the draft. Um, look at these scouts, though. 98 efficiency, 95 position, 94, 94 with pitchers, 98 efficiency on him. Um, 
this guy. This is his second year. So we drafted him. He was 19 years old, right? No. He was 18. We let him play in the minor leagues for a year. So he came up last year, and I think he won. No, he didn't. He didn't. No, he didn't go in the. He was he was in the majors last year, as a 19. He came straight to the majors as 19 year old. Okay, look at those ratings. Straight out of the draft. This guy we drafted, and we sent him to the minors for a year, and then he played part a year, and he came up and he won the uh, rookie rookie of the year that year. Yeah, see, so he won the rookie of the year. And that's his ratings. He's kind of like Fiore where he just crushes lefties. We traded for Walker Jenkins, but he hasn't really done much. This Noble Meyer is an actual Marlins player. So he'll be up with our major league next year. De Los Santos is a Marlins player. Um, we drafted this guy. Snelling is a real Marlins player. Caperniak, we got him in Rule 5. He's a Cardinal player. They just added him to the 40-man roster yesterday. P.J. Orlando is a Marlins player. We got Gavin Sheets in the uh, Rule 5. Victor Mesa is a regular player for them. So. Anyway, that's uh, what we're doing with them, and they are... Here, here's what we were 58 and 104 with the regular players, and then with the rule five players, we were 38 and 124. And last year, we were 50 and 112. So, so it's a long process. If you enjoy that kind of thing, I would go to Fiend Franchise on YouTube and go to his Rockies draft only playlist and watch the whole thing. You can watch it on double speed. I highly recommend watching stuff on YouTube on double speed. Um, you won't miss anything. And that is a very fun. He found a two-way generational player that just went absolutely nuts. That's worth watching. It's worth watching his uh his playlist just for that dude. Neil Dorsey is the dude, and he was a dude. <laughs> so all right, we are out of here. Um I am going to do the ALCS on Saturday day. Just looking at my wife's work schedule. Saturday day, we will be back and do the ALCS against the Royals. Right at noon. I don't care about college football. Screw it. We'll be uh, we'll be doing it here at noon. And we'll play the whole ALCS. And if we win, then we'll schedule the World Series. If we lose, then we'll schedule the off-season stream. So... This Saturday at noon will be our ALCS. You guys can make it great. If you can't, just watch the VOD either on Twitch or over on YouTube. And uh, you guys at YouTube, if you like it, please hit the like button. Leave a comment. Helps the algorithm. So anyway, that's going to be it. Who are we going to go raid? We're going to go raid Man Cave, so let me get that going and uh, head on over there, and I will catch you on Saturday. And you guys have a good uh, rest of the week. When you're ready, we'll raid out and go over there. And uh, I will be back Saturday, so you guys have a good couple of days, and I will talk to you later on. <laughs>